Hey Bubble family, so welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I know you've been waiting for it, I'm going to discuss um, A and L. So we're going to do this in a little bit of code because uh, I feel that, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, but I, th I, you know, I was, I was contemplating whether to do it on Rumble. I mean, this video does go across to Rumble anyway. But I thought the majority of you haven't got Rumble, and I just feel that it would frustrate a lot of you if I just went, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this video on Rumble, and there's a lot of you that haven't got accounts on there. So I'm going to do this in a way that, like I say, in code. So if you would like to join me in this video. You would like to have this discussion in regards to these alleged children um then and i'm also going to say i'm not going to put photographs up because that i feel um as much as i believe what i believe i'm going to ask you to use your critical thinking really look at these and, I, and if i can explain the photograph and then perhaps you can go and look for that yourself because I feel that's it's important not to, because at the end of the day, no matter what, I believe whether these are child actors that are being used or whatever it is, I still feel that's wrong to put those photographs up on social media, especially because I do believe that someone has said that someone else's children are being used. So because of that, I'm not putting the photographs up. So if you'd like to join me in this discussion, then you should know what to do by now. And that is grab your drink of choice, whether it be tea, whether it be coffee, whether it be a water. Um, look, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy today. Um, I've got my water here, um, but I've got to be honest. And I've also got a strawberry milkshake. So <laughs> it's a balance. So maybe you are enjoying a hot chocolate or maybe you are enjoying my cherries and berries because I know a lot of you have decided to buy that. Um, or you would like to add a little something something to that drink of choice to give it a little bit of a pep because as my flag says behind it is five o'clock somewhere so let's grab that drink and dive right in Many of you have asked me about the so-called children and I've given it a lot of thought and I would like to say that before I delve into this, this is not therapy. I am a qualified therapist and a trained life coach and in all the years uh, experience that I have had, I have learned to not only read body language, but also read between the lines. It's important to look at what's not being said as much as what's being said. Um, so given that, I, after studying a lot, looking a lot of what are things are said on the media or social media or things like that, I have come to this conclusion myself. Of course, you do not have to agree. And I know that some of you don't, and that's okay. And I appreciate the respectful comments that have come in saying, I don't agree with you, uh, and here's the reason why. Um, you are absolutely entitled to your own opinion and how you think and feel. And this space is open for that discussion. I only ask that you are respectful and kind to the people that are here because just because we have a different opinion to others it doesn't mean that we cannot discuss this in a respectful way um i don't discuss things unless i truly believe what i'm saying you know i that's why if i can't find any sort of not just about the evidence but it's almost that i i'm not sure um, so I, so I kind of guide things accordingly. Now, with that being said, do I believe these children exist? Now, uh, the first child I do believe does. However, 
I and I will go into what I'm why I believe what I believe. I do not believe that he is living with both of them. As for the second child, um, I don't believe that she is legitimate. Let's just say that and I will explain more within that. So let's take it back to a little bit in the beginning of, I have touched on this before, I believe that Megan has not given birth to these children. And I have said this before, and a lot of you question that. Now, the reason is, is because, like I've said, I have watched many, many, many hours of footage, I've seen the photographs of how she behaves, how Harry has behaved um, in regards to her being pregnant. Now, most of the time, generally speaking, a man is very protective of his wife and even more so when she's pregnant. And if you watch some of the footage of when Harry and Meghan are together, he he isn't, he is not protective of her in any way. Um, and that shows in the Oprah interview. It shows when they're kind of walking around. You know, he doesn't even, in my opinion, even acknowledge um, the, the, the baby bump. So... I think that this has been set up. Now, people have asked me, what do I think happened? So when I've said that I think um, that he, he got somebody pregnant, a few of you have come in and said, there's no way that um, Megan would be OK with him you know, having a child with somebody else. Now, if these rumours are to be believed, and it, and I do find it interesting that things circulate when they do. So a lot of rumours are circulating with the fact that Harry has been very abusive to women. So let's look at that. And this is going to be a slightly longer video, by the way, guys. Um, so let's look at that. You have the fact that he treats doesn't treat animals very well. You also have the fact that allegedly they got rid of, is it Bogart? Um, because apparently he didn't get on with Harry. And I always think it's very suspect when a dog who seems to be, for all intents and purposes, fine, doesn't then get on with somebody. Um, and then obviously then the rumours, the way he speaks about women in his book, the way he's uh, kind of portrayed his mum, the way I feel that he's used his mum to garner sympathy. Um, because from what I can see, even prior to that, he never really mentioned her. He, you know, he talked about it a little bit with William and then nothing was really said. And so I think that he has used his mother's death to monopolise on that. So he doesn't seem very paternal, to be honest. He he really doesn't. Now, OK, yes, there are, fit, you know, there's footage and pictures of him talking to children, laughing and joking with children. But there's a big difference to doing that when it's somebody else's to actually yours and also Harry is very very immature um and you've only got to look at the footage of the docu series mocu series as people call it and it, 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 there's just a disconnect there's a disconnect with Megan there's a disconnect with him in regards to these particular children so do i feel that it's possible that either he has he isn't serious he wasn't serious with Megan so he slept around do I think that's potentially possible yes um because let's be honest I do feel that he wasn't very serious about her until all of a sudden he was serious um so yes that's possible or there's also the rumor of he's there was a member of staff that he slept with um and he could have potentially got this person pregnant and then or the fact that he um slept around and did something else and, and wasn't very nice. And in his book, 
he openly talks about plying women with drink and sleeping with them. And like I've said before, there's a word for that. So is it possible that in, you know, and you've got to remember, he's openly admitted to the drinking and the drugs. So is it conceivably possible that he did not wear protection? Yes. So th the fact that it's possible that he could have got somebody pregnant. And then you have the fact that, OK, so would Megan put up with this? There isn't any way that Megan is maternal. She's not. She's an, we, we've already said this. Narcissists are terrible, terrible parents. So she is not going to care because all she cares about, she doesn't care about Harry. What she cares about is her image, her money and the power. She is not going to give up being a member of the royal family just because Harry gets somebody else pregnant. What she would do is utilise that and say, OK, we have got to keep this quiet, um, but I'm prepared. So because obviously the, when this child is born, um, there is, you know, this child is going to be seen. So I'm going to behave like it's me that's pregnant. This is very possible because at the end of the day, a narcissist will capitalise on anything and then it's almost like, you owe me. If I do this, and I know people have said, well, look, you know, a child out of wedlock or, a, a, you know, someone being unfaithful is not the newest thing for the royal family. OK, no, it's not. But this is somebody that cares about their reputation. Harry and Meghan are together. To the, for the fact that then Harry, it comes out that Harry's been unfaithful, this would be humiliating for Meghan. So this is something that I believe she would have wanted to keep quiet. And not only that, she would have been, her cogs would have been whirring and she would have been like, okay, you know, there's a, I can, I can use this. I can, so it's possible that she would have really, as in like, cried and, you know, this is terrible and I'm going to leave you. And Harry, you got to remember, Harry was so besotted with her that he would have done anything. And then it's kind of like, you know, I'm going to leave you. This has created me to feel so bad. You know, this is, you know, is it because I'm black? You know, there's the, you know, you can hear the, the things that would have come up. And Harry's probably there going, oh, my God, I'm going to lose this woman because at this time he's probably you know, bowled over by her. He wants to keep hold of her. Um, so it's very possible that he's gone along with whatever she said, because then she would have gone, actually, maybe the only way we can do this is what if I pretend I'm pregnant? What if I act like, I mean, these are just scenarios I'm putting out there. What if I act like I'm pregnant? To And so I'm, so it acts, you know, so the attention then is on me. Um, so that's one scenario. And it's very possible that at this stage, the royal family were not aware. So there's that scenario of the fact that the family are not aware. And by the time it kind of got to where they were, they found out that is when potentially things were put in place for them to leave. And, and just bear with me here. The other scenario is that the royal family found out that this happened. And obviously they cannot have another scandal so they would then put things in place to be like, OK, we cannot have this. So it's possible that this woman who allegedly got pregnant, whether it be that she had a fling with Harry or Harry was quite abusive to her and she felt pregnant. Um, then it's very possible that this woman would have been like, Do you know what? I'm keeping the child. Megan would have been furious probably about this. However, she would have then used it to then capitalise on it and go, OK, I can I can work with this and let's you know we can't we've got to keep this quiet but I'll be the one that pretends I'm pregnant like I'm doing you a favor the other thing could be that she's cried and been deeply upset about not having because obviously there's rumors of the fact that she's not able to have children so then it becomes I can't have children um let's use say okay for argument's sake let's use a surrogate um, but let's pretend that the child is mine. Um, so we, so the media think this child is mine because again, image is everything for her. So it's very possible that she would have done this in a way that Harry would have felt so sorry for her and he would have accepted this and gone along with it. 
Now I'm going to say that I don't believe this scenario and for, for the reasons of that I don't think the royal family would have been against surrogacy. Um, I really, really don't. If Meghan had said, I want a child desperately, Harry wants the child desperately, but I can't have children. Um, and I, I wonder if it's very possible that something happened within this, that she somehow blamed Harry. So it's very possible because I do believe in the beginning, there's a possible where she's hooked him with a fake pregnancy. Now, I know this sounds all very conspiracy theorist, but like I have said to you guys before, there has to be something that went from him breaking up with her, not wanting to be with her in Skip's wedding. Suddenly they're back together. It wasn't long after that that they then suddenly got engaged and then almost like then the, the marriage and then suddenly she's pregnant. So I think that there's something happened and it could. And the only thing I can think of is either a fake pregnancy, which then had you had a fake miscarriage. So then it would become because of this miscarriage, I can no longer have children, which then becomes Harry then would feel responsible. So then it could become, OK, so we I would like to use a surrogate. I want to have a child with you. I, w I want to use a surrogate. But I don't believe this, the surrogacy thing. And the reason why is because why would the royal family lie about using a surrogate? And not only that, putting this child in the line of succession. Now you only have to, and please go look for yourself. Really look at the videos that we see of Meghan look at her bump don't just look at her as the person really study the way she walks the way she carries herself the way she sits where she bends down effortlessly um she crouches down um you see the bump get squashed there's footage where she will go in somewhere and her bump is huge and she'll come out and it's flat or the fact the one where it kind of fell in her the or the famous purple and red uh, dress i think she was wearing um just so for that then you have to say there was no pregnancy so what would create the royal family to lie because even if this a surrogate was used, Megan and Megan desperately wanted the child to be in the line of succession. I do not believe the royal family would have okayed this. The royal family would not have lied and put these children in the line of succession without a very, very good reason. So let's look at what those reasons could be. One, the royal family don't know. So we also have the fact that there was no royal birth at the Portland Hospital. We know that Meghan lied because she said she went to the emergency wing. There is no emergency wing. She said that, uh, that there was a specific uh, nurse or doctor. Uh, this, the doctor's husband come out and said, wasn't, wasn't my wife. So we know that Meghan lied. So we know she didn't go to the hospital. There was also the fact that the Queen apparently turned up um, at a specific day, which was completely different to the day that was allegedly the birth, supposedly the birth of Archie. Um, then we have the fact that there was no doctor's signatures on the placard that was put up about A. Um, why? Then we have the fact that there's this footage where Harry says a, a, a child, you know, can change a lot in two weeks. But this was around the time when when A was supposedly literally just born, which says to me that then this child was around two weeks prior. Um, what would create the royal family to lie? Because we know that they're lying. These, this child is this, you know, she did not. She did not. This child was not born of the body. Now, I did do a quite a bit, a little bit of research into this and I couldn't find where it actually says. And please, if somebody could find it, then I'd be very grateful. And I did try looking and for some reason it didn't come up. We also have the fact that even though some people have said it's fake, the fact that the um, the royal family put uh, a, a post up on Twitter 
um, I think it was from the Prince and Princesses of Wales account at the time that a surrogate was used and then it was taken down. Now, a few people said this was fake, even though the account has a blue tick. Um, there's lots of these discrepancies. The fact that when you see um, Harry and Meghan standing, Harry, the way they're holding the child seems very strange the child is you know i mean it's not weird for for a baby to be fast asleep but you can see harry's thumb squeezing in as if it's and it's white as if he's squeezing this baby quite hard um and a few people have said which you can find is that this is is a particular button that you can press to create breathing with it with um i mean whatever now do I think that that is potentially like people have said that this is a doll? Um, there's a part of me that doesn't because purely and simply because um, I wonder if this is the actual baby. And I believe that they didn't want the press to screen in too much for the fear that somebody might pick apart and be like, hang on a minute, this is supposed to be like a newborn or this child doesn't look anything like Harry. Um, and it's, uh, you know, obviously it's very difficult to tell. So this baby's kind of like wrapped up, you know, you can literally just see its face. You know, they were very kind of strange in there, like a picture of like the a hand and it was just very bizarre. Their behavior was very bizarre. They didn't have the picture on the steps of the Portland hospital. Meghan Markle is a narcissist and I have to keep reiterating this because people have, have, have often said, you know, well, it's not a massive thing that she would have wanted her picture taken because she'd come up with some strange excuses in like, you know, my, you know, my children shouldn't be, my child shouldn't be on display or something like that. She is a narcissist. She would have wanted her Diana moment, her royal childbirth moment. If she had had this child, if she had then she would have had that moment. The Portland Hospital, she would have stood there in all her glory because that is what Princess Diana did. That is what everyone else has done. She would have wanted that. But what we got was some strange kind of, you know, where a few photographers turned up and it was, they were very cagey and their body language was very almost anxious. Um, they wouldn't allow you to kind of go, they wouldn't allow the press to go too near. They wanted to, you know, one point one, even a photographer said, you know, can you kind of sort of, we can't really see. And they, and they would, and, they, and it's almost, then Megan, you see Megan then almost like put her hand up, almost like covering the babies as in like, she doesn't want that. And I do not believe for one second, being the fact that she is a narcissist, that she would not have reveled in this, I have a royal child. Um, we did not see also anything to do with um, her being pregnant in a sense of the things that she, you know, it would be all about her. It would be all about her. But what we did get was these moon bump flashes, as they're called. And people have said to me, well, why would she do that? Why, if she, if she was not, um, if she, her, if the, pregnancy was fake why would she draw attention to it and that is because she is sociopathic in my opinion so what this would have been was I know the truth and I know the media know and the royal family know this is about her creating control so when we saw the moon bump flashes that is about her getting attention it's like I can draw attention to the fact that I'm pregnant, um, allegedly pregnant, but I know the truth. And also as well, you've also got to look at the fact that she revealed this pregnancy at is it Eugenie's wedding. And they have created it. And if you read, there's a little bit in, in Harry's book where he talks about it as if, you know, oh, you know, we, we brought the family to, to one side and we revealed the pregnancy and everyone was so happy. And it was such a magical, wonderful moment. I don't believe that for a second. Megan wore a coat that was specifically buttoned a certain way, which created the speculation. And she took the attention away from Eugenie. Who is Harry very close to in his family? Eugenie. And I think she did this on purpose. And I think that is because the family were very aware of what was happening. 
and I think that she did it on purpose. Everything has to be about her. She wants the attention on her. And the one time we don't get that attention is when she's actually, this baby is born. So I do believe that there is an, there is an A, but I don't believe it's Harry's and I don't believe it's Megan. Now, a few people have said, but I've seen the photographs. Um, the child does look like um, M and uh, Harry and Megan. So the other scenario could be is firstly, photos can be manipulated. And not only that, there has been a lot of um, the, the, the child has changed, like the hair colours changed. One minute, this child has got flaming red hair that we see in the beginning. Um, but there is a disconnect with her. You know, when she was in the in the footage, you know, when she's holding the child, it's like it's like this child was wriggling and it's, it was like there was a complete disconnect. Um, but this child consistently changes. And then not only that, we've, we have photos where they're sepia, they're black and white. There's a side view. There's a there's a back of the head. Um, there's the cartoon version that it's 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 not they can be manipulated and they are being manipulated. I think we are being gaslit on a huge level when it comes to these children. And I believe like I said, I think that the child is here in the UK with the real mother. Now, is it possible that Harry ha it's ha this child has Harry's DNA? Yes. So this could also be why, in some way, um, the child has been put in the line of succession because of the fact that, firstly, the child was born of the body. Now, OK, wasn't born from Megan's, but this is still maybe a bit of a grey area that they that the royal family are using. Um, and also it has royal DNA because the child is Harry's. Now, there could also be the fact that the royal family do not know. Now, I know you kind of might think, well, how is that possible? Well, we have to then go back to the fact that we that this child was not born at the Portland. She has controlled this. This whole thing of I was I feel felt suicidal and I went to HR or I told Harry, well, that should show you that again, she wasn't pregnant because where were the nurses and doctors that were supposedly looking after her then? Why was the go-to, instead of going to HR, which is deeply weird anyway, why would you then not speak to the nurse or doctor that you've got on hand that deal with the royal family? They have the best of everything. So would you not think that when you're having your checkups and um, and your or the, the prenatal things, why would you not then say to the nurse, I'm feeling suicidal? But there was no mention of that. No mention of seeing any doctors, nothing. No, no scan photographs. Um, why was there not any of that? Why was there no scan photograph released of, the, of this alleged child? Um, and like I say, and when she then, and, and again, people have said, well, what about the fact that she did look like she put on weight? You can take supplements. You can take hormone shots. You can um, drink protein shakes and you can gain weight very quickly. If you look at her weight gain, she didn't really gain weight with A until near the very end or when she had given birth to him, allegedly. And then after the fact, then her weight gain was there. Not only that, I think, and we're going to get to the second one in a minute, but I just, I, so there's every possibility that the royal family say, for example, did not know. So then it becomes, because if the, if she, if they've allowed her to control the pregnancy, so it's either they don't know and they have accepted that she has done everything herself, then she's kind of produced this baby and said, this is my child. Because you're not going to go and say, hang on a minute, can we just check? Can you just take your clothes off? And can we just see this real bump? There is every chance that she's kept this private. Harry, of course, Harry would know, but she's kept this private. Every chance. And we're looking at different scenarios here. It's up to you what you decide. So she's kept this very private. She's been sneaky. She's done all of these things. She's possibly even faked things. 
to prove that this child is her child. So there's that scenario. Or, and I hate to say it, the royal family are in on it um, and they are lying, in which case you have to ask yourself, why? Why would the royal family accept a lie? So if they know it has to be something so big that would damage the royal family, that they are willing to accept that this, this lie is happening and they've put this child in the line of succession. And to me, a surrogacy is not enough for the family to lie. I do not believe that they would have gone to the Queen and said, Meghan wants to have a child. She can't have children. We would like to use a surrogate, but she would like the child to be in the line of succession. And the Queen has gone, yeah, OK, we'll lie. We'll lie to the world. Don't believe that for a second. Um, so it has to be something that's big enough. And the only thing I can think of is that the rumours around Harry and what he's doing... Um, or done regarding women, um, there is truth to this because it's very strange to me how this is suddenly circulating. And we know that there are leaks and we know that the person who likes to leak things is Megan. Like I said, she I believe that she absolutely leaked the Rose Hanbury affair. So is it possible that Harry has done something got somebody pregnant the person has chosen to keep the child and so when we saw the baby um for the christening this is the real child the child that we saw uh is it with is it desmond tutu i believe is possibly the real child but then something potentially happened um where they've probably collectively got together and the royal family has said if you stay in the uk this is going to be very difficult. And then you had all the fact that Meghan was bullying stuff was coming out. So the, they probably got together and said, we think the best thing for you to do is to leave. Um, because in a way you can keep things, you know, if you think about it, going, going to Canada or going to the United States, they have been able to create this illusion that the children are with them, but they're keeping these children very private um that we we don't see them and people have bought this and isn't it strange how the media very rarely talk about these children they are never seen out and about harry and megan are never seen out and about and if they are children are not with them we have alleged staged things where suddenly someone's taken a random photograph of the back of somebody like when, when they went to uh somewhere in america and there was footage of a woman sitting down with a cap on that could have been Megan. Someone that's standing next to her that could have been Harry. But there was no no pictures of the front of their face. And then weirdly enough, a child that looks a little bit like um, A. And so, of course, and then it's all come, it comes out in the media. Oh, Harry and Megan are just wandering around like normal people with, with A. Um but these photographs are just, they're just slightly off. Whenever we've seen a photograph of Harry and Meghan, it's done through their photographer, someone that they know and trust. And I think that is to keep the lie. Doria is the only person that has gone along with this lie. And then also allegedly that she just got this huge amount of money. Why was that? Was it hush money to keep her quiet? Because she was the one that knew. And you've got to bear in mind that Doria was not around for a huge part of Meghan's life. And the rumours, if they're true, is that she was in prison. Um, so she's clearly a very shady character. And I've said this before, I think she is a grifter. I think Meghan has learned a lot from her mother. And so she is not going to have any issue with, OK, give me give me something and I will keep your secret. Now, again, I know this is very conspiracy theorist, but you have to look at the fact that there has to be something big enough for the royal family to go along with this. So either they don't know and they've accepted that Meghan has just controlled the narrative from the word go and she has just kind of faked this pregnancy. Somehow they've gone along with it. Don't believe that because I think if we can see it, then I'm sure they could have seen it. Um, 
And then you have, like I say, the pap walk when she went to Canada. There is, and, and look, and people that have said to me, where is this footage? Look up, I would say the thing to type in would be pap walk, Megan pap walk in Canada. You see video footage of her, the way she's walking. You can see this, who she's carrying is not a child. The leg is flapping like this. A child's leg doesn't do that. And there is no weight to the harness. It's like she's got a harness half off her shoulder. There is no weight. This child would be heavy. There is no weight. And she's grinning from ear to ear. And that tells me, like with the moon bump flashes, that is her going, I know the truth. The royal family know the truth. And I think the media know, but there's not a damn thing anyone can do about it. Um, because, you know, unless people really start digging and, and, and they have actual evidence, things have been hidden from the media. And if a lot of Meghan's past can be hidden, what else can they hide? And I hate to think that the royal family are complicit in this, but I have to be honest. We know that she was not all right. We don't know 100 percent, but let's be honest. We, you know, we're not we're not stupid people here. We know that, that she did not carry a. You know, the, like I say, everything can be explained, but you only have to use your critical brain and your eyes. Look at the footage. Look at all of the photographs. You cannot explain that away. You cannot look at somebody who's heavily pregnant, but belly sticking out. And then the same day with the same outfit, it's almost flat. That is nigh on impossible. Even if you can explain away other things, that you cannot explain away. The fact that everything surrounding A's birth, the birth certificate. Why are their birth certificates locked away? Why? They are the only children that have their birth certificates not available. They're locked away. Why? So if she's using a surrogate, you have to ask yourself, why? What is it that is creating the royal family to be complicit in this lie? If it's they don't know then fair enough, but I don't believe that for a second. And I'm just kind of going with every scenario here. But if they do know, even if it's later on, why were they complicit in the lie? So that tells me that Meghan and Harry needed to tell them something that if you kind of, if you don't go along with this, this is what's going to happen. Either I'm going to say that you forced me to to go along with this lie because again I reiterate Meghan Markle was a narcissist they will do whatever it takes to win they will do whatever it takes to make sure that their uh, character is not called into question so she will say it's Harry's fault he got somebody pregnant I was made to go along with this um, to save their reputation and people would buy it as much as the yes, they're, they're, the way they are, uh, you know, their reputations are in the toilet right now. But if she come out and said, and she would, they made me do it because they didn't want a biracial child or Harry got somebody else pregnant and they made me go along with it and made me wear a fake moon bump. Do you not think that there would be a lot of people that would buy that? Of course they would. There'd be a lot that wouldn't, but there would be an awful lot that would. And the amount of outrage this would cause, I think it would be the royal family's undoing. So, of course, now they are in bed with, like I said yesterday, the devil, so to speak. So the best thing they can do is go along with it, because at the worst, we've got people guessing. At worst, we've got people guessing. There's no, no damage in that, in a way. People are guessing, well, we don't believe the children to be true, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, people are saying that already, but it's not doing any damage. Because as long as the main people involved are going along with it, nothing, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. And if you don't think that people like this are capable of lying, think again, because they, they really are. And so I do believe whether it be that they found out late, possibly, and they've gone along with this, 
or like I've said, Harry has done something and he's got somebody pregnant and Megan would not give up her meal ticket. She doesn't care about the child. That's why when she sued, and that's the other thing to remember, is when she sued um, with the Pat Walk in Canada, she put herself as litigation friend. If you were the child's mother, you'd put you're the child's mother. You wouldn't put litigation friend. Um, so it's all these little things that to me that add up. Because regardless whether she was she used a surrogate um, or Harry got somebody pregnant, the fact of the matter is this child is in the line of succession and she did not carry this child. So this child should not be in the line of succession. So then you have to ask yourself, what would make the royal family lie and put a child in the line of succession when they shouldn't be? And that regardless of the reasons why is big enough as it is and then so then that we go on to l now we know well maybe you don't know but i think that this i either think again this was was a surrogate or an adoption and the reason i go i'm, I'm inclined to go with more with adoption is because she wanted a child that looked like diana and again, she's a narcissist. She would want a child with blue eyes. And the only way that can happen is if it's adoption. Now, again, with a second child, you have to then look at this is somebody who scours the media. She would want to know what's being said about her. She would want to know what's being said about the, the, the alleged children. This is why when all this stuff come out about Louis, with the Platinum Jubilee, it was like, oh my gosh, Louis, 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 look at Louis. And Megan, being the way she is, is like, I'm not having that. I can't have, you know, these children. So then we got the alleged photograph of Lily sitting in a, in a, in a garden um, and you can't see her legs. This is an unnatural pose for a child um, because all you see is, is her skirt bunched up, uh, her dress, sorry, her dress bunched up. A child doesn't sit like this cross-legged because they will they fall over so they tend to sit with their legs stretched out um and so they can sort of balance and sit the child isn't being held up by anybody and all of a sudden it's like but we're supposed to believe that this child with this red hair red hair so not only this you have somebody that's um biracial and you have the fact that um that even when Harry was born, uh, to me, he didn't have flaming red hair when he was first born. I think he was more sort of blondy red, like strawberry blonde. Um, but then you, we're supposed to believe that these two children that they've allegedly, she's allegedly given birth to, have both got blue eyes and both got red hair. It's a regressive gene anyway. So I do not, one child maybe, but two children? This is, and also the fact that these are what they would call geriatric pregnancies because she's a lot older. So, and also then the fact that she was allegedly got pregnant, pregnant the second time very quickly after having a miscarriage, alleged miscarriage. You put all these into, it's not just one thing, it's, a num it's numerous things. And this just does not add up. It does not add up. And so then we, you know, the fact that, she, you know, we've got this picture of Lily, who's apparently one years old, and she's having this party. And then they bring out this black and white photograph of her allegedly holding Elle. And um, the, the child's, the hairline, even though you can see, yes, it's a similar child, but the hairline is shorter. But this is supposed to have been taken on the same day. So why would the child have shorter hair? So this tells me that the child in this particular picture was a lot younger. Um, it's probably maybe six months younger to the picture that we saw with the child sitting down. So then we have this, so why lie? Also, Megan in this picture looks 10 years younger, almost like pre all the, the Botox and stuff that she's been having, the work. So this looks to me like a superimposed picture. So you have a picture of this ph photographer's wife with children. And I think Megan was then put in this photograph 
then the child was added. So it's probable that Megan was holding somebody and then they've literally put this child in. You only have to scrutinise photographs enough, like when we've seen photographs of her holding. Uh, there's one where uh, she's allegedly walking uh, A to, to school, or not walking, or she's walk taking him to preschool or something and she's allegedly holding him. But she's holding him on with one arm. Now, bearing in mind at this point, I think he's like two, two and a half years old or something like this. So she's walking, she's striding and she's holding him with one arm with a backpack and a bag. Um, but there's no and she's and she's hev allegedly heavily pregnant. But what you see is the the the, the bump is slightly squashed. Um, and not only that, um, I don't believe I, I, I mean, she's a small framed person. So you're telling me and not only that, she's wearing jeans and she's wearing these sort of slip on sort of shoes with no backs to them. So you're so we're supposed to believe that you're carrying a heavy two and a half year old walking to school with these shoes that have got that are slip on jeans and and a, and a backpack and a bag or whatever or a phone or whatever it is just effortlessly it's it there's a lot of things that just do not add up so when we go to obviously to to l um <laughs> you've got the fact that why lie about this particular um picture and then you have then when you go to the docu series there's footage of harry pushing a pram there's no child in the pram why why do you need to do that um, if this particular child is supposed to be with you. Um, also, then suddenly, uh, Elle has gone from having red hair to blonde hair um, and gone from having very straight hair to curly hair. Um, so it's so to me, and it's almost, again, we have the same uh, where the footage is a bit grainy or it's not, you know, there's a back of her. It's not quite, uh, something's not adding up. So what do I believe that I do? I think that they've used now there is somebody that I think they have when they're in America. Like there's there's footage of um, on the Oprah interview where you see the black and white footage of her allegedly on the beach with this child running. I don't believe that's her. I don't believe that's M for one thing. And secondly, the child in question, I found and it's very difficult because I don't know if I would get in trouble if I put the picture up here. Maybe I, if I put a, if I blurred out the face, I found a picture of a child who was the same age as A. And um, this is somebody who is, who used to be maybe a, or maybe still is a friend because she admits to being her friend of Megan's. Now, her initials are B, and many of you probably even know this, B, G. Um, and I believe the child that's being used is her child because they, I found a picture of when she had her Facebook open when I was looking into this, and I have got the photo and the child is identical to the one in this video footage. This, I don't believe that that child in that black and white footage is, we're being led to believe that's A. That's why it's black and white, because it's very difficult. But also you've got to look at the fact that the child's hair is very, very dark. Now, I appreciate that in black and white footage, a hair colour can still look dark, but I don't believe a red haired child the hair would almost look black in this footage. But aside from that, even if that could be argued and I could be wrong on that, the hairline, the child, if you look at the hairline of the child, it, it, it's got, um, and they call it something and I can't think what it is, but it's where the, almost like it has like a receding hairline, but obviously not because it's a baby, a toddler. And it's, the, it's like this receding hairline here. And this child, the face is identical um, and this is this woman's child. And so I think and she is friends with um, and this particular woman in the caption with this particular photograph is is the child is 
is wearing um, a onesie type thing because they were about to get married. And so it kind of says mummy and daddy um, getting married or something like that. And so she's got this caption of, um, you know, this particular child's name wearing um, this onesie saying that mummy and daddy are getting married. And it's in, on her it was on her Facebook. And then all of a sudden when things started to circulate, because this was a few years ago, all of a sudden um, I noticed because this was on Twitter, I got I got blocked from this person. She blocked me on on Twitter. Um, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you just, you know, if I'm even if I'm mentioning something, if it's not true, you don't care. But she blocked me. And then all of a sudden I noticed her Instagram. But I'm not saying that I was the only one that picked up on this, but I was the one, only one that I could see at the time that would pick up on it. So so all of a sudden I got blocked from her by Twitter. I then um, her Instagram went private and her Facebook went uh, got locked, literally locked down. Um, and there's a few there was a few other things as well. And as this and as this particular child has grown, he has, in my opinion, a very, very similar look to A. Now, he's not identical to how the pictures that we see of A now. But what I would say to you is photographs can be manipulated. So what you can do is say you would take a picture of this particular child or a person then you would find a picture of, say, Megan and Harry as a child. And then you can manipulate video footage and um, photographs to superimpose over the top of this particular child to create a child to look very similar. Because I've seen a lot of pictures where I said, well, you know, this child's got Megan's lazy eye or it's got... Um, uh, um, um, just uh, you know looks very similar to Harry um and if you also if you look at um the fact that in the very beginning we saw very clear pictures of a child like when she was reading Duck Duck Rabbit when uh like say the Desmond Tutu very very clear there was a, you could in a way see that this was not manipulated this is very clear so i believe that this particular child this is yes the real child um since then since they've gone to america and be honest if you really think about it we have never seen clear footage or pictures of this child again and then not only that you have the fact that they came over for the platinum jubilee no children um and don't think for one second that when there was that photograph of them standing up at the window that this would not have been the perfect opportunity for megan and harry to show their children off why were their children not at the window what were they asleep both of them you know, you got Meghan and Harry standing at the window, sticking their tongue out, bizarrely. Um, and the children are all standing there looking out of the window. But there's no A, there's no, there's no L. Why? Why was A, you know, he's, he's three years old. Why was he not standing there? You cannot tell me that they would not have taken that full opportunity. Because even though M is a narcissist and everything's about her, so would her children be the same in a sense, not that they'd be narcissists, but they would be an extension of this. So if the children are in the window, she would have absolutely taken that opportunity to make sure her children were front and centre. Now, again, people have said, yes, but didn't Elle meet the Queen? Because apparently there was this rumour of that she didn't want the, um, the Netflix camera people in. Well, where did that come out was there an actual official statement of that she actually met the queen or was there just rumors circulating and then all of a sudden like i say we sit then see this weird photograph um of this alleged child that's got her seems to have her feet missing and then like i say the black and white photograph and then you know the fact that in the docuseries harry's pushing an empty buggy and we never see them out and about um, and then when we see pictures, it's kind of like, it's just like a side view, the the back of them, 
um and it's just very everything is very weird and, and i've said this before you know i so what i potentially feel is that this is possibly an adoption and the adoption went wrong the, the either the parent changed her mind um or the surrogate changed her mind one of the two and so because they've had to go because they've gone along with this pregnancy um and of course then people have said yes but she was gaining weight in this pregnancy well of course she was because what she's done is she's read social media she saw what she did wrong the first time and and corrected that and there are also rumors that apparently uh, oprah's assistant saw that there was a moon bump um, and this could also be why oprah has since um, removed the footage and stepped back from them um, of course, she's not going to outwardly say that. So she's kind of done damage limitation by re removing things and just not saying anything about them. But she's also got to double down and, and commit to the fact that she did this interview because it's there for all the world to see. So do I think that Lily actually um, exists? Um, no. No. I don't actually, I don't believe Lily actually exists. And of the fact that this name as well, this was also in spite, um, again, because you're dealing with a narcissist. She knew that Lily Bet was um, the, you know, like the sweetheart kind of nickname from Philip. She stole that because now when anyone kind of thinks of Lily Bet, now it's going to be this, this alleged child. So again, you have to ask, why is this child in the line of succession? Why would the royal family, because there is no, there's no birth certificate. Um, there is no registered birth of someone that has the name Lilibet Diana on that date. Um, the domain names were being bought up well before. So this says to me that this was potentially um, a lie. And the royal family possibly haven't proved it because she's over there. So she's able to say, because unless they say we would like DNA evidence to show this child actually exists, how would they prove it without actually saying to Megan, we would like to see your pregnancy belly. We would like to be present when you actually give birth to these children. Because unless they do that, of course she can lie because if you've got people that are willing to go along with it as in harry as in doria then it's every chance that the royal family are slightly naive to think that that a person wouldn't lie like this because all they've seen is that she's walked around in a dress with with a pregnancy bump you're not going to immediately go you're lying now, of course, they might, because obviously they, they might realise that she's lied about the first one. But at the same time, it's not something that, especially if she's recording, can you imagine this recording and manipulated recording of them accusing her of lying about pregnancy? Especially because this would play right into the racism thing. So unless they've got someone on hand to prove that she's actually lying, then in a way they kind of have to put the child in the line of succession because to not have the child in the line of succession would be then to question the legitimacy of the child and of course the media would pick up on that so i think that she's this is a very orchestrated plan i really i really do and that's why they are staying over there because they cannot bring the children over here because well a i think like i say the first one i think I, a is already over here but they can't bring lily over here because lily doesn't exist i think that this was either like i say a surrogacy or an adoption that went wrong so what's going to happen now well, I believe that what will be happening now is that they will be scouring um, the adoption agencies to find a suitable candidate. So this is why at the moment I think they are using 
in a way child not child actors but but people that have got a child around the same age and that's why you're getting these weird like they say you're not quite seeing the child close up enough to actually kind of go that's not their child um so i believe that what they're gonna what she'll be doing probably now because like i've said i don't believe they live together at all is that though she'll be scouring for a child that matches um the description in a way of the child that we're, we've seen so you she will be wanting a child that's got kind of blonde or sort of strawberry blonde hair blue eyes and then if you give enough time to go past so say for example if we haven't really seen this child except for the odd photograph and the odd video footage that's slightly manipulated if you give it enough time you could pass off another child as Da -da, this is the child and I also think as well the reason why they don't bring said children is also because there would be that risk of someone taking DNA all it takes is someone taking some hair off a hairbrush or something like that so they she will keep this child over, over there and, and this child will not come to the UK and then if they separate as in like when they separate and divorce then i think it will potentially be that a will be over harry will be over here with a and she'll keep lily um because they can't keep this up for too much longer without there being something and i think the divorce will play right into that so i think then it would be that a would then move back over here and he would or he and he would have a or then they or they will just keep keep these children completely out of the public eye because it's not a far stretch even to think famous people keeping their children completely private um but of course there's going to come a point when these children are not children anymore and then what you know maybe they haven't thought that far ahead of how they could keep this ruse going um but i will say that this is this we are dealing with a narcissist and she will do and say even things that we potentially couldn't even bear thinking about to garner sympathy, which is why I think we had the miscarriage story in the New York New York Times, um, because that was to garner sympathy. Um, we also have the weird thing that apparently Harry said that they were allowed to take their child their, 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 and, and bury this child. Uh, that's never going to happen. So I call BS on that. When you read his books, they just these things do not add up. None of it adds up. And I think we can all agree that there is something so fundamentally wrong with the way these children are being portrayed. And we can also agree pretty much that Megan being the way that she is she was not pregnant with the first child and like I say everything you can argue away the weight gain like I said that can be done actresses have been doing it for years and years and years of how to portray weight gain and, and a fake pregnancy a miscarriage can be done and I think I saw somebody say that you cannot buy um is it pig's blood or something like that i'm sorry but yes you can because actually black pudding you know you can make black pudding and things like that and that's and and, and that's that's part of that so you, yes you can um and you've also got to think that these are people that have got influence so maybe you know even if we couldn't they could they could find access to something um photos can be manipulated you know if you look at the even films as in like um lord of the rings you know when they created the hobbits you know they created the illusion that these people were gandalf was tall massive and the hobbits were tiny um and in some of it was was yes they used children but some of it was cgi and it was all done on computer so photographs can be manipulative you, you even think about the things that we can do on filters just just us you imagine if you've got the ability and the means to connect with people that are very intelligent when it comes to photography or photograph um, video footage and how that can be manipulated don't think for one second it can't be done it can 
And like I said, then if you think, well, if they're willing to lie about something so heinous as calling the royal family racist, and then to gaslight and kind of go, we never said it, we never said it when they actually did, um, then what else are they willing to lie about? Because if they think they can get away with it, which in a way they kind of have, then if they got away with it the first time, why not get away with it the second time? Mental health especially is very hard to prove. It's very hard to, you know, can you imagine saying to a woman, you're not pregnant? Can you imagine saying something? You, you know, we just don't. So we, we tend to just go along and accept things because it's rather than actually say what's true and actually looking at, uh, you know, Megan and kind of going, how can you say you're pregnant? We just, there probably was people that were standing around her kind of going, you're not pregnant, but just wouldn't say it. Because it's one of those things, like with mental health, it's very hard to accuse somebody of something like that without actually creating it like the backlash could be on you. Like, how do you say you you weren't suicidal? You can't, because that's in, your, your, it's in someone else's head. How can you say that? You know, so I think it's along those lines. And don't, like I say, don't think for one second that she is not studying social media about what's being said about her on Twitter or wherever. She will have people studying this. So when you she sees the footage coming out of um, she wasn't pregnant and the reason why there was no weight gain, there was no this, she would have been like, right, second time around, I'll change that. I'll make sure that I look like I'm gaining weight throughout. And like I say, and even in the Oprah interview, you know, she's sitting down, the bump is quite small. And then the next thing we know, she's in the chicken coop and the, the, the bump is huge. And it's almost like right up under her boobs. I'm asking you not necessarily to believe what I'm saying, because sometimes you kind of think, well, what's the point? Well, the point of this is, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of people in the public eye that lie, that gaslight, that create us to feel that we're the ones that are going crazy that we're the conspiracy theorists while sitting back and doing what they're doing and especially given the fact that especially as being in the UK these people are in the line of succession and I personally think that if you're going to be in the line of succession and have access to taxpayer funds that there should be DNA and maybe even, you know, for the people that question Harry's birth. Should there be DNA when Harry was born? Maybe, maybe. Um, you know, and, and I think, you know, that's that's my opinion on this. I think, you know, enough is enough where, you know, we should be able to discuss something like this. Because if this, you know, like, for example, I have no qualms about William and Catherine's children and the reason being is because they are an open book and as much as there are some things that are private they have shared they they've acted as if they're a normal family if Harry and Meghan didn't want all of this then they should act like they're a normal family and they don't now there's a difference between wanting to be private there are plenty of celebrities out there that want to be private but when you have all of this that's kind of going on and the lies and the manipulation and the gaslighting. Um, we have a right to know. We have a right to discuss. We have a right to know. And we have a right to believe that these children, there is something off with these children. And like I've always said, if I'm wrong, I will hold my hands up. I've got no qualms and saying, you know what? I got this really, really wrong. But I don't believe, I might not get, have it exactly right. But I think that I do believe that there is something very off and I don't believe um, that these children were born of her body, in which case they should not be in the line of succession. And then that tells us that if the children have not been born of her body, then why are they in the line of succession and why have the family gone along with this? Because they must be complicit to a degree even if they didn't know in the beginning or even if it's just a that they're complicit in and they they are just gone along with l because she's in a different country i don't know but i think we could like i say we could all agree that something's very off 
So I'm sorry this video is exceptionally long. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I have tried to do this the best way I can and I hope that um, that you, you know, kind of you kind of get what I've been saying um, with the different scenarios. If you have anything different to add, then please add that in the comments because I'd be really I'd love to read it. Um, and, you know, I've had a few people contact me with things. So I'm going to have a few conversations with with them. Um, so, yeah. So thank you very much. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you don't want to miss future uploads, then please think about subscribing because it does help the algorithm. Thank you to the people that have joined recently. I'm so pleased to see that my subscribers are going up. My views are going up. It's wonderful to see. Um, please give a shout out to my son on his channel. Um, I will put the link in my description box. I'm really, really trying to get him to his first thousand subscribers um, so he can hopefully start earning some money when he's got his views. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to my son's channel, please, as a little thank you from me, if nothing else, please go across and subscribe to his channel um, to help him. If you would like to buy some of my merchandise, that is also in the description box. If you would like to say thank you to me for doing this video or you want to, uh, you know, help kind of do what I'm doing, where I'm working with people behind the scenes who struggle financially um, and I help them. And if you want to help towards that, you can buy me a cup of tea. Um, yeah so if you would like to send me something um or you'd like to send arthur something or you would like to just like send send something in the fact that you've got this little business and you want me to promote that for you on here um and you want to just send me an example or something I, honestly just so i you know anything that i can do to help you i absolutely will i have a po box so please um you can send it there that is also in the description box of this video um, what else? I'm on Instagram. I was on TikTok. I'm no longer on TikTok. Um, I am on Rumble. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything. If you want to just contact me, my email address is there as well. So pretty much everything you need to know will be in the description box of the videos. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much again. And I will see you in my next video. I'm hoping over the weekend I'm going to do a live, but I will let you know in on the community page. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but in the meantime, have a great rest of the week and I will see you soon. So take care. I love you. I appreciate you. But most of all, I respect you. Thank you so much. Bye, Bubble family.